world history courses from the beginners level to the intermediate level to the advanced level which I've done once um, the others I have done multiple times over the last five years but um, I think the style of teaching is, is very good because it's more of a workshop style of, of session where your session is facilitated rather than led and rather than you receiving information per se or, gain, or receiving a presentation of this information you are encouraged to go out, do your own research, read books um, and then use various sources and work with your classmates to actually bring together a picture of um, that history yourself and you come to your conclusions and you come to your own narrative and we sit with Onyeka and Onyeka almost helps us to navigate that narrative rather than to you know to tell us this is what it is and to give us the narrative or to give us a handout with everything on it because that journey is going to be a limited journey because it's one where someone's already pre-prepared the work for you and you just have to internalize it you know which is how probably a lot of us are used to learning through our educational experiences is somebody else has already done the thinking so for us it's almost we will go on our own you know mini journeys um, but sometimes we say it's mini but it's massive you know if you've never done research before even to go on a google search is a big jump for you so yeah i think that's the type of teacher he is, is more of the one who encourages us to empower ourselves in the learning. Hello, I've known Onyeka uh, for some time now and since knowing him I've known him <clears throat> as someone who um, imparts knowledge of history to others. Um, I've known that he's someone who um, spent a lot of time actually writing a book that means a great deal to him <clears throat> and a great deal to others. And, you know he's taken this time out to do this um, and I see that as a great challenge and that being a challenge for him is also something that inspires me completely because um, as far as I um, understand it takes a lot of will, a lot of, a lot of strength, a lot of determination to do something like that and that type of will, strength and determination that he has um, also you know, spreads along the individuals that he also knows to, you know, in, in turn inspire them to also do something similar. Yeah, it's impressive and nice to know that someone had put the time in to get the information and put it together for other people who haven't. Hi, hello, my name is Stacey and I have nominated Onyeka for this brilliant book. Um, I've also been to his event which is really, really amazing and it's been inspirational and inspiring for me. I um, just want to say that I want to nominate Onyeka for Positive Role Model because I feel that the work that he has done over the years looking into black history has really impacted my life and many other people's lives. What I'm trying to get you to see, or, or trying to get you to feel, is that the, everything that you need is right at your fingertips, or most of it. Some of it isn't, right? but a lot of it is at your fingertips. It's just your capacity to grasp it is the key. It's your capacity to grasp it. Yeah, people talk about power and things like that as if it's some illusionary thing, imaginary thing that's far away. The power is a very real thing that's within your fingertips. You just got to reach out and get it. Of course there's work involved in the process and there is resistance from other sides and even from your own self. The greatest problem that you're going to have is yourself really. It is because in your own, your own mind, your own subconscious, your own subconscious is going to keep telling you that you shouldn't be doing it. It's better to do something else. They get a 9 to 5 job, right? It's too hard. It's too hard, yeah? And the reaction that you might get from your own the negative reaction over and over and over and over and over and over again may also be the thing that pushes you to stop. But you must try and reach out for it because what you want, what you need is within your fingertips. You just got to go out and reach and grab it. And then you got to hold on to it once you've grabbed it. And this is the key. 